Warriors, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today we are gonna be working on forward spirals. Spirals are an essential move. Every figure skater needs to know these. We're gonna start with them in a straight line. You're gonna to wanna to have a really strong one foot glide before you do this, and we're gonna to need to do some stretching. So before we get started with the tutorial, we're gonna head over to the wall where I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite on the wall spiral stretches. So we're gonna start with a barrier wall. If your rink doesn't have one, try to find a counter or something like this. Maybe even you can do these stretches at home before you come to the rink. So I'm just gonna start by facing the wall, keeping my hips facing the wall as well as possible. I'm gonna put my left leg up for now, although we wanna stretch both legs. You always stretch both legs. Even if you think you're only gonna work on one spiral, we want that flexibility to be as even as possible. So we stretch both legs. I'm gonna start with my toe facing up towards the ceiling, my hips as square to the wall as possible. I'm gonna take my opposite arm, so right now my right arm, I'm gonna reach it over across You wanna get it all the way down to your toe if possible. That's gonna give you a really good stretch both through your hamstring and through your back on the opposite side. Then I'm gonna take the same arm, so now my left arm with my left leg, and I'm gonna reach out, and I'm gonna to try to get my nose down to my knee. Make sure you keep those knees really straight on both legs do, during this. If you bend your knees, you're not really getting an, a, an appropriate stretch. So keep those knees really straight. Okay, the next section, I am going to slide my left foot out and anchor myself with my inside edge on my standing leg. So I'm just gonna slide out into more of a split position. This is giving me both a stretch through my hamstring on my left leg and my hip flexor on my right leg. My last stretch, I'm gonna rotate my hips so that I am facing away from my stretching leg. Try to keep my back up really straight and tall. And this is giving me a stretch through my left hip flexor and working on back strength. So now we're just gonna repeat all of those on the other leg. All right, now we're gonna be doing this spiral in a straight line. So you need to know that you, your skating leg needs to stay up very straight. If you lean your foot to the baby toe or to the big toe, so outside edge or inside edge, you are gonna go on a curve. Now it's great to learn spirals on a curve down the road, but for right now, we need to master a forward straight line spiral before we get all fancy with our edge spirals. So we're gonna start with just a forward extension. All right, so an extension is where your leg is turned out behind you, but it, you're not trying to go really, really high with it. We're just looking at the posture with our upper body. So I'm gonna take a couple of steps and I'm gonna really work on get, using all of my abs and my back, and I'm gonna get really good posture with my shoulders. And I'm gonna extend that foot turned out behind me and try to go in a straight line. So nice flat edges. So we'll take a couple of steps get those nice flat edges and extend that leg with your foot turned to the side behind you. So we're gonna try to practice this until you can hold that extension in a straight line. It doesn't have to be really high, we're just looking for control and nice posture. When you practice 
practice this extension, I want you to think about putting the foot behind your, the outside of your hip rather than directly behind you. If you try to put your foot directly behind you, you end up twisting those hips and it becomes very hard to control this spiral. Instead, put that extension behind your hip. Let me try this again and I want you to really look at how that hip and the foot are lined up. So you can see my foot is almost to the side rather than directly behind me, which throws my hips off. So line it up with the outside of your hip rather than your spine. Once you have really mastered the control of that forward extension, we're gonna move on with a spiral position. So it's a spiral when both your knees are straight and your foot is 90 degrees, so about parallel with your hip, okay? If it's below your hip, it's not a spiral. So you wanna keep it hip height or higher. It's very important, like I said, to keep your knees straight, but also to keep your hip behind your toe pick. If your hip goes in front of your toe pick, you're probably gonna fall and slide like Superman across the ice, and that is not fun. So I want you to keep your hips behind your toe pick in this extension. So we're gonna lift and push our hips back towards our skating leg. This puts our foot more under our waist and makes it so we're much less likely to trip on our toe pick and fall forward. So before we go into a full extension, I want you to really strengthen your back and your shoulders and your arms because your upper body is like your foundation for your spiral. It's what's gonna keep you really stable. So we're gonna skate forward. We're gonna really anchor our upper body. We're gonna lift our foot as high as we can and push our hips back behind our toe pick. Let's go. Strong back, leg up, hips back. You just wanna hold it as stable as you possibly can. So once again, we're gonna skate the strong upper body, lift our leg and push our hips back behind our toe pick. Remember that leg does not go straight behind you, it goes behind the outside of your hip. The spiral is meant to be an elegant maneuver, so you want to look elegant while you're doing it. Keep your chin up, don't look down at the ice. No one wants to look at the top of your head while you're skating, so lift that chin up so we can see your face. Let those hands stay nice and soft as much as possible. We don't want, don't want to look terrified while you're doing it, so nice soft hands. Turn your toe out and point it in the air. If you can point your toe in your spiral, it just makes your legs look so much longer and more elegant. Let's try it again, and I want you to look out for those three things. Nice high chin, soft finger, and pointed turned out toes. Chin up, soft fingers, pointed toe, turned to the side. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed this one. That spiral is such an elegant maneuver. I would love to see all of your versions of it on Instagram, so make sure you tag me. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give us a thumbs up. And of course, I always look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button down in the corner and that little notification bell so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.